The real difficulty is with YouTube, sometimes you change your mind about things and something that you said once, years later, you might completely disagree with yourself on. And this is actually one of those, this is the thing for me that I disagree with myself on now. Hey everyone, I need to talk about something that I once thought was it and now thought various reasons which i personally think are legitimate reasons i've changed my mind on and i don't now think that this not not the brand the product i don't think that the product is now that holy grail item that is worth all of your hard-earned money i've changed my mind on it and it is the chanel classic flap and while i'm here i thought i'm going to come here because i'm going to show you some examples of some of my favorite bags and why i'm glad i have them but why i wouldn't buy them now what makes the chanel classic flap such a good investment piece is the history behind it, specifically how long it's been around for. The longer a bag has been around for, the more long-term and the more iconic it becomes, and therefore the more value that it can command. Now, when I talk about investment bags, I'm talking about two things. And not both of those things will be of interest to you, but I mention them both anyway, because one or both might be interesting. The first thing is investment from the point of view of financial. I personally, when I spend this money on bags, and I've got bags behind me that this does not apply to, but I personally like to buy things where I think, if I change my mind on that, can I sell it and get my money back? If not, make a bit more money so that I can go and put it into the next bag. And so for me, when I talk about financial um, investment pieces, I'm talking about that. I'm not talking about buying it today and selling it tomorrow and making cash overnight. I'm talking about buying it today, selling it maybe five years later if I need the money and knowing that the money is safe in the product. The other great thing that makes this an investment is, as I mentioned, the time that it's been around for. You're always going to want get people that want this bag. And I always think if you think about bags in like SEO terms, so for example, if I take this Loewe bunny bag as an example, is this a good example? Possibly, maybe not. If you think about the number of people that are searching online for this bag versus the number of people online that are searching for this, this is going to come out tops. And the amount of money people have got to spend for this is obviously more on this than they have on this. And eventually this bag will be forgotten if Loewe stop making the animal bags. This will be forgotten and it, it's a quirky bag that someone, if they can remember it, might particularly want, but this is one of those ones that's always in a person's head. So when I talk about like SEO terms, I'm really talking about that, you know, buying some, stay. Buying something that's always gonna be in demand. Here's where I've changed my mind though, but only on a couple of these items. And it is specific to Chanel, although, I am feeling like the more time goes on and the more everything is getting more expensive. Like I already said to you, I love the Lady Dior, as you can tell. I'm obsessed with that bag. It's now about £4,000 plus and it's not a price that I would pay for it. And so I'm so glad that I've got what I've got, but I wouldn't spend that money on it. And it's exactly the same with the small, medium and large size classic flaps. I just don't think that for new money prices, for prices today and in the future, I don't feel that these are a good investment anymore, financially. Long term, of course they are, because they're always gonna be here. And I do think, I know there is this thought that they're trying to kind of go up against Hermes, and I do think there's possibly something in that, because why would they put their prices up? I think some, I saw some things somewhere saying that the price of the large is now a bit more than a small Kelly or something. So of course the value is still going to go up, but have a look at this. This is what I'm saying. This bag in the large size is just a bit over 8,000 pounds. In the medium, it's over seven and a half thousand. And I think it's the same in the small actually. But if you go and have a look online, you'd be mind blown if you go and look at pre-loved. 
I've gone on to Vest Air Collective, it's where I tend to shop from if ever I'm buying a bag. And if you have a look at some of the prices on here, we're talking about 50% off, sometimes 40, but you can pick up these bags for around about four or 5,000 pounds. You can't, not 8,000. There aren't any of these on there for 8,000 pounds because how many people are really gonna pay that? And that's what I'm talking about. That is why I've changed my mind. I now, don't think this is worth it. I bought this back in 2016 and it was £4,500. At the time that was so much money, but it wasn't £8,000 money. It wasn't like, it was a lot at the time, but ratio wise, it's not like it is now. Okay, so that's the large size. The other two that I've completely changed my mind on, as I've briefly mentioned, is the small and the medium size. I used to always tell you, go and buy one of these three bags, they're so worth it, they're gonna sort you out for life. And again, they are because they're never gonna be discontinued, but at their new prices, they, for me, aren't worth it. I don't think that the quality is I don't think the quality matches the new price. Now, if I give you an example here, see this. This is a bag that loads of you have helped me out with because I was thinking about getting it and I, um, I was looking at the colors to get it in. And do you know, this bag is a fraction of the price. In the medium size, this is around 2000 pounds. And do you know, you have to wait weeks for it, like a month, sometimes more apparently, because I asked them because they hand make to your specification each bag you can have bits of the bag in whatever color you want and that to me is true luxury and it's luxury at a price that isn't like this where things change a bit is when it comes to vintage chanel's quirky shape bags and their mini bags here everything's different and with these i would say that all three of these are worth it not these exact bags but you know the categories that they're in if you go and have a look at their quirky shaped bags for example this this was around about three thousand eight or nine hundred pounds it wasn't even four thousand pounds this is the largest size heart bag i can fit both of my phones in. I can, you can actually get a lot in this and if you go and look at how much these are retailing for from people that are selling them, the prices are solid. So if you can get hold of seasonal limited edition pieces that are 4K and under, and they do exist, they are definitely worth it. Like that, that's a bag that I can't see myself ever selling because I love it. But I know that if I ever did, the money that I put into it is safe. I haven't just chucked that money down the drain. The next is mini size Chanel bags. Guys, if you want a Chanel flat bag and you're watching this thinking, yeah, I don't want to spend £7,000 plus, think about the mini sizes. Now, this is actually um, a seasonal piece, which is probably not helpful me showing you this. Let me show you, oh, here we go. Let me show you this, which is a mini rectangle in a uh, black lambskin. You can fit as much in this bag as you can in the small size flap, exactly the same amount. Because on the inside of these, you don't have compartments. It's just one open section. So if you can get hold of this, definitely worth it. This is currently, from memory, under 3,500 pounds. I bought this for 3,200 pounds last year. Very difficult to get though. It's the only downside. And these, the mini bags, hold their value. The larger ones are not. And that, again, points to the price thing. These are still reasonably priced and people are selling them online for more than they actually are because people know you can't get them. I'm seeing them on Vesto Collective and they're 5,000 pounds. And I know at the moment they are under three and a half thousand. Likewise, this was another really good buy because it's the mini rectangle, but it's got the top handle and it came out in white caviar. And so with this, this is seasonal, but because it's in a different color, but because of the top handle, because of the sizing of it, again, these were really hard to get hold of. I got it as a complete fluke, actually. It was like somebody who asked for it and then changed their mind is why I got that. But again, 
Go and have a look at these pre-loved mini size Chanel bags. They are holding their own, but the bigger ones just are not. Like the final thing I just wanna show you is vintage because the examples that I gave earlier of Chanel bags that have sold and how much you can see they've sold for, they, they're new, they're pre-loved, so they're up to 10 years old. Vintage is anything from memory, 10 years old plus, I think, maybe 20 years old. But this, don't disregard vintage, okay? I know it's not for everyone because not everyone likes that worn look, but I really didn't in the beginning. I didn't, I could never see myself buying a vintage bag of any brand. And then I got into it and I got hooked on the thriftiness of it, of how much you can get for so much less than you would spend going into a boutique and how much better the quality is on these vintage bags. We're talking about stuff that's got 24 karat gold plated hardware on the chain and on the logo on the front. For some reason, it hasn't worn off and this is a 1986 bag. And even the prices on these are going up, but they're nowhere near the actual retail prices. So I've changed my mind. Are Chanel bags still worth buying, the flap bags? Not new, in my opinion. Would I spend my money on the new ones? No. I definitely think though, the smaller bags, anything from Chanel bag wise that is 4K or under is so worth it. And if you don't watch this and think I'm telling you, quit saving for your Chanel bag, you shouldn't do it, it's not worth it, absolutely not. They are definitely worth it. But all I'm saying is think long and hard before you go and spend that money because it's a huge amount. And if you, want to buy something, look at it on the shelf and think, yeah, I spent 7K on that, but if I sell it tomorrow, I can get the 7K back. You're not, I can't see that happening for a long time until they raise their prices up to like 15K, you know, double what they are now. And then maybe you will get, you know, 7,000 back. That's gonna take years. I always say it, if you disagree with anything that I've said, I welcome that. Don't think that the, you can only leave a comment if you're 100% in agreement with me. I love to get your feedback because it really makes me think differently as well. And very often your feedback makes me change my opinions or my buying behaviours. And I just love hearing from you all. So if you disagree and if you think the new prices are you know, legitimate and right, then please say that below and please explain why you think that. I would love to know just all of your opinions in general. Do you think the new prices reflect the quality as well? Or do you think actually for that kind of money, the attention to detail should be better, flats should be on straight, etc. Tell me what you think. Anyway, I will see you in the next video.